my name's Busy. I know we're all at home right now, a little bored, so I want to kind of talk about one of my favorite ways I've been brewing coffee because I brew for two other people. So my typical AeroPress and pour overs, I have a one cup pour over, haven't really been cutting it quite as much, so I've gotten way more into the French press. So I'm going to kind of go over my favorite recipe that I feel like has really been hitting the spot for you guys. Alright, so this recipe I'm doing, uh, it's going to be 65 grams of coffee coarsely ground. So I do about a 30 on my Baratza Encore, uh, whatever you feel is coarse to you I'd recommend doing. Uh, I'm going to be kind of using this Colombian coffee, it's a local roaster from Seattle and I've already got it filled up. So uh, 95 degrees Celsius is what's recommended for this recipe and I've already calculated it out to be 50 grams since it's an 850 milliliter French press and I'm now going to pour it in. That's what I love so much about French press though, is that it's seriously so simple and you always get a good cup. There's very little variance and like room for error, I feel, as long as you get the grind right. Uh, that's also, I would recommend using a burr grinder for French press. I know most of us start off with uh, not a burr grinder, which I won't tell, but <laughs> Uh, it's going to be more of an uneven brew when you have that because some's going to be over extracted, some's going to be under extracted. So if you're really getting into at home coffee like a lot of us are right now, I would recommend getting a burr grinder. Alright, we're back. It's been four minutes. So uh, my favorite part of this recipe actually is breaking the crust that's on top. And as you can see, I didn't put the lid on right away. Uh, I know when I first started brewing French press, I would always just leave the lid on to kind of keep the heat in. But it's honestly, it's so hot already, I don't think it's really a big concern. Uh, so breaking the crust is like super fun. There's going to be this huge buildup, which I'll show in a cutaway shot. But uh, you break it like this, and it's going to start bubbling in. It's so pretty. It's my favorite part. And then scoop off the bigger chunks. So it's going to just give you kind of a cleaner brew, less uh, sludgy. And then another thing I do is I don't actually press because uh, it kind of brings all of the grinds up and it excites them a little bit and I just leave it like this and then pour it and you've got a beautiful cup of coffee that serves too pretty, pretty well. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. And I'll be back with another video soon.